Hello you subscribers and watchers, this is Anki and you are watching Slider. Welcome to the new series of Math. Today we are going to learn about how to find a cube root of a given long number. Before we go ahead with how act actually you find out a cube root, let's have a look at the basic cubes of numbers from 1 to 10. So 1 cube is 1, 2 cube is 8, 3 is 27, 4, 64, 5, 125, 6, 216, 7, 343, 8, 512, 9, 729, and 10 is 1000. Now, the reason I'm asking you to have a look at these numbers are there's a specific pattern which these numbers actually follow. So if you actually look at them, 1 ends with the 1, 4 ends with the 4, 5 ends with the 5, 6 ends with the 6, 7 ends with a 3, 8 ends with a 2, and 9 ends with a 9. So let's have our attention over some specific set of numbers. 2, for example, the cube of 2 ends with the 8, whereas the cube of 8 ends with the 2, so they form a 1 pair. Similarly, 3 ends with the 7 and 7 ends with the 3. So they form another pair. Except for 2 and 8, that's pair number 1, and 3 and 7, that's pair number 2, all other numbers end with the same respective number. That's 4 with the 4, 5 with the 5, 6 with the 6, 9 with the 9, 1 with the 1. Alright, so keeping this in mind, let's tackle how to actually find out the cube root of a long number. Consider a number. 110592. Now, since the number is ending with a 2, that means the last digit as per our table, which is available out here, should be 8. After getting the last digit, strike out the last 3 numbers and consider the first 3 numbers in this case, or the remaining numbers. What I have out here is 110, that's 110. Now, if I look at this particular table out here, 110 is greater than 4 cube that is 64 but less than 5 cube that is 125 that means it is not crossing 5 hence we are going to use 4 as our tenth digit and hence the answer for 110592 is 48 that is 48 cube is 110592 all right let's look at another example So if I have a number 250047, let's use the same logic. 7, that means the last number has to be 3 because 3 enters the 7 and 7 enters the 3. So the last number has to be 3. After that, strike out the last 3 numbers and consider the remaining numbers. In this case, it is 250, that is 250. Now if I look at the table back out here, 250 lies between 6 and 7 because 6, it is greater than um, 2, 1, 6, but less than 3, 4, 3, that is 7 cube. Since it is not crossing 3, 4, 3, we are going to consider 6 as the tens digit. So if I combine together, I have a 6 and I have a 3. So the answer is supposed to be 63, which is actually the answer. Alright, so I hope you have understood this simple technique to find out the cube roots of any big numbers. This will specifically help you in multiple points or quantitative examinations. Before I sign out from this particular video, a, a small exercise series for you all. Um, try these numbers and below on the comment box, um, yeah, I'll be happy if you can write the answers down if you understand the technique. And if you have some more simpler stuff which you can share, yeah, do feel free to actually write down in the comment box given below. Alright, so if you like what you're watching, Hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button and comment as far as you want. Thanks for watching. You're watching Slider.